Everyone's building an AI for almost everything today, but what about an AI agent that can actually pick up your calls and close deals? Think of it as an SDR that works 24 by 7 and never misses a call. Hi everyone. So today we are going to create a simple motion graphics tree. So first of all, what we are going to do is right click solid and let's select something off white. Hit OK. And then what we are going to do is first create a circle. So select the ellipse tool, make sure fill is on and I'm going to select this color. Okay. And while holding shift, I will just drag this mouse to make this circle. Now I'll be delineating in my image of this robot. So how did I generate it? So I took the video, okay, the sample video or the reference video and then I took a free stream out of it. From there, I went on to chat GPT and gave it the prompt to remove the background and hence I got this, okay. So now what we have to do is simply just, you know, make this aligned, okay. So now the next step will be, I'll select this and parent link it with our shape layer. Okay, now if I move my shape layer, this whole box will move. So, for the first animation, okay, what is there is, it goes up, okay, something like this, and this also comes up. So, we'll do that. Simply, I'll just, you know, select this, okay, and make it scale make it scale and hit position bring it down somewhere here y and bring the anchor contour over here hit make this game zero then at one second mark i'll make it 100 and i'll just bring it at the center somewhere here okay so we'll get this animation like in the reference video, select this F9 and then drag this towards the left. So we have got this animation. Now I'll hit toggles just mode and then track mat this to the shape layer and enable this. Okay, now from here, what I'll do is select my image of the robot, hit P for position. And no, drag this down, go up and bring it up here. Okay, so we take this animation. Now I'll select this F9 and then drag this towards the left. So we'll get this animation. Okay, now we'll be using this okay so these icons i generated from free pick you can head on there and search for icons okay so i'm just you know first and make the circles okay and then i'll just put the icons over here inside it okay something like this head on to effects and presets search for k and i'll put it on this make it white so we have called this okay now i'll fast forward this section wherein i will create the same type of you know this graphic where there will be different type of logos inside the circle now i'm just going to parent link the icon with the respective circle or corresponding circle so two select this and parent link with our shape 4 okay so if we move your shape everything is normal now i'll fast forward this section where i'll parent link their icons with their respective circles okay so as soon as this comes up this all will come out from behind so i just need to select these shapes hit p and shift T 
to open position and opacity somewhere around here i will click both of these go ahead again click both of them go to the starting keyframe and then let's bring everything inside so i first select this bring it here select this bring it here select all of them make the opacity zero select this at nine and then drag this towards the left so we'll get this animation now i want all these to go behind this big circle so i'll just take this and put it below this Now I want all of them to come out one by one. So what I'm going to do is bring them in a stair format. Okay, so we have got the starting animation. Now, as you can see, they are moving, okay, in their place. So to do that, we can simply select this, okay, under transform, under position, hit Alt open this sir type wiggle then track it open to comma 10 okay so we we'll get this moving animation now I'll just copy this okay okay now we got this okay and after that the next animation will be it will all go up and this will fade out and then line animation is there which is very simple so after this opens up from here what we can do is first we need to create a null okay for ease of movement okay just created a null and then just link everything with the null okay so basically our shape okay all these shapes let's link it with our null okay now if we move our null as you can see all are moving so after this you know opens up what we can do is simply just hit p for position okay go ahead and then drag this up somewhere around Okay, select this of 9 and then track this towards the left. If you want to create more space, what we can do is make this small while going up or we can you know introduce camera. Okay. And let's make everything 3D except our white solid. Okay. Now I'll bring in another null object and connect the camera to the null. And then as it goes up, simply I'll just, you know, select all this. Okay, the icons and the circles, hit T and click on opacity keyframe, go ahead and make it zero. Okay, simple as that so let's see our animation so as it goes up now there is a simple animation of our line so i'll just delete the fill and select stroke just going to make a line something like this bring it below a circle so now we have to just make it open it and head on to shape under stroke i'll just Hit on dashes and increase it. Okay. So when this goes out, we have to just simply, you know, add trim paths, open this up, and go ahead. Can hit on this keyframe, go to a start, and make it zero. Select this F9. Okay. So there will be this animation. 
and then you know you can just after this comes up like this as you can see you have to make this okay so simply just you know select a rounded rectangle tool and you can just select something like this make sure to open rectangle path and increase the roundness then you know go to the fill delete the stroke okay and simply just i'll bring in my telephone png get small bring it over here and then just again bring in fill and make it white okay to go up and then this will come so again i'll just select both of these hit control shift c and write phone by making it a pre-composed layer so i'll just hit t for position and t for opacity go ahead and then hit both of these go down and decrease opacity to zero f9 and then drag it to the left okay and then as you can see this is you know shaking like this so what we can do is again just hit go inside it hit no we can just click here p for position alt wiggle them with t mark one okay as you can see it's shaking okay if you want to increase the shade more then just increase the number instead of 50 you can make it around 70 or 80 okay and then for the next frame from this side it will come and again the same animation now for the text and the clock okay then again as you can see at the end same is thing is there so for this text and clock what you can do is simply you know so this whole scene will go down let me bring the whole scene down so to do that i'll just click my null hit p for position after this let me just you now go ahead and drag this down somewhere here at nine i want this animation to be slow at the start and fast at the end so i just make this like this okay and faster at the end i'll just you know select everything except the white solid and hold alt and right bracket to cut everything okay so now see our animation now for the next animation which is this text okay thing will come from the above of it as a man so it's easy okay nothing you know deep animation is there just think write the text do a position animation from up to down okay and then as you can see these are typewriter animation okay so to do the typewriter animation what you can do is just hold to new text okay for example let's say this is the text and we can you know just head on to effects and presets everyone has this inbuilt preset so just head on to text animate in and just select this typewriter okay put it over here and you will get this okay simple animation it's too slow what you can do hit u and bring these close up okay if you want a faster animation you will get this okay so very simple to do this text and at the end this okay so this is an interesting animation what you can do is separately make all these you know so for that let me show you what we can do is first select this eclipse tool i make circle like this and give it a bit of stroke okay and let's see yeah so the color is black on the stroke so let's make it black 
and we want to make it thin so let's make it three okay or one yes make it as let's make it bigger okay now simply what we have to do is make these okay so select this okay pen tool let's make it green okay make something like this we want 12 of these so what we can do is go here add repeater make it 12 hit control alt boom then under transform repeater 1 make the position to 0 and then under rotation make it 360 divided by 12 okay so what happened is 360 is the circle okay the 360 degree and divided by 12 because there are 12 lines so it will distribute all the lines perfectly okay now we have to just simply make this okay so this one is easy so just make another ellipse tool okay and then copy this hit r sorry hit y and let's bring the anchor point down okay hit r and make it something like this also let's make this smaller yes so you have bought these two lines okay arrange it properly okay keep it different colors and then just keep rotation keep in to make the animation so this is how you will complete this animation hope you learned something new from this video see you in the next